Uh, wait, oh, no cups. Oh, we run completely out of cups. Oh, wait, oh, there. Ah, so we put in a full order of cups when we ran out. That's not really a good idea. We don't want to run out of coffee cups, right? Wouldn't it be better if we put in the order, let's say, when we got about 10 cups left? Yeah? Then I would never come up here and there wouldn't be coffee cups. There would always be coffee cups. And we would always get coffee. And pe when people don't get coffee, serious things can happen, right? So we're going to talk about MinMax and how Business Central can help us solve this problem. Let's check out a graph. Um, here we have on the y-axis inventory and on the x-axis we have time. So we start out with inventory at 300 and we have a dotted line here at 100 which is indicating our minimum inventory for this particular item. In our case if it's the coffee cups, if we go below 100 coffee cups we want to buy more. So in this case we get a sales order for 250 uh, which brings us below 100, so we're now at 50. And now the system should trigger an alert, and it does. A minimum quantity alert comes up, and it issues a purchase order uh, for 500, and the lead time is three days. So three days pass, and we actually have no sales orders here, and the PO is received for 550 and the inventory goes up. So when we're looking at this, we want to have the minimum inventory value high enough so that it covers us for whatever we dip underneath, plus those days that it takes to bring the purchase order in. So in this case, we didn't have any orders between the 15th and the 18th, so we're okay. But if we're always getting 250 or somewhere close to 250, uh, this 100 might actually be too low. We might want to be somewhere close to 300 for a reorder point. Uh, so these have to be these considerations have to be brought in when we're actually putting the reorder point. But from a technical perspective, um, the system basically issues a minimum quantity alert to issue a PO uh, whenever we go below the minimum quantity. Let's take a look at the system. I've created an item called Paper Coffee Cup and I created 250 inventory in the blank location. So if I click on the Paper Coffee Cup, I want to set that up so we order uh, automatically 500 if we go below 50 on inventory. So in order to do that, I go here into Planning, uh, Reordering Policy, and I set this up to be fixed reorder quantity which means that when we go below the reorder point, it will order a fixed quantity. My reorder point is going to be uh, 100, and my reorder quantity is going to be 500. So if we go below 100, we're going to order 500. Now if I go up here into Navigate, Availability by Event, I can see for this item, yes, we do have 250 on hand, but there's a sales order out here for 300 which will bring the projected available balance down to 50. So this will actually take down the inventory to below the reorder point. So let me go ahead and close this out and see what happens if I go into the requisition worksheet. I go into action, requisition worksheet. So here basically I'm saying, take a look at the system and tell me if there's anything I need to do. Do I need to order anything according to the reorder policies that I've set up? So I go in here, calculate plan. I do have it filtered only on the coffee mug, uh, the coffee cup, the paper coffee cup. So I'm only interested in that item at the moment. And then I just hit okay. And the system goes and says, you need to buy 500 uh, because you're below the order point. Please go ahead and pick the vendor and carry out the action message to create that purchaser. So that's how the uh, reorder point works, um, a fixed reorder quantity. And uh, now you can set it up so that you will never run out of uh, paper coffee cups.